We have flowers on the chives. And we have runners on the strawberries. These came up from seed last year. And here's some runners. And here's a strawberry runner. This one's about ready to set down. Maybe not on the cement though. It can root through the felt really easily. There's a couple over here. And that's a runner. There are strawberry runners everywhere. I need 6,000 cups and 2 tons of dirt. There's a lot of grass up by the fence. I'm going to pull it out by hand. This might be a good spot for cucumbers. Let them climb the fence. Here's a really nice shade tolerant plant. Maybe I could grow it under the strawberries. Just on the other side of the fence is a swale. It goes pretty deep. The swale runs the entire length of the fence and gets the water from the roof. This cherry tree is located in the deepest part of the swale, which is bricked over so it doesn't get muddy. This is Comalina diffusa. This plant likes water. It grows along the side of houses and in swales, and it fills it in really well. It only grows a foot high though, but it's very invasive. It's invasive because it roots from the stem and walks along the ground. Comalina sells seeds like crazy. Now besides being very delicious, horseradish makes good leaf matter. Look at this. There's a lot of material here. This stuff is pulled from deep underground and left on the surface. It's very much like comfrey. And it's making another batch right now. This horseradish has been here for over 10 years. It's only gotten like a foot. Now I'm not sure how it does it, but the roots will split and it'll make several plants in one spot. If you can get in there, if you can see it. These shoots come from different spots, but they're all really close together. So it's a clumping plant. There are several plants in each clump. And it doesn't really take over a large area, it just spreads its leaves over the top of other things that are nearby. But it's not invasive, it's just sturdy and determined. If you want it to spread, chop up the roots and bury them everywhere. It doesn't spread to new areas unless you put it there. Invasive is a general term that doesn't describe the properties of most plants. Even if you have a lot of things, it doesn't have to be invasive. It depends on scale. There's a lot of self-seeding plants out there. This is woodbine. It grows really well in the shade. It spreads quickly and covers a lot of area. It grows along the north side of houses too. Maybe it's a little invasive. Now this is an invasive plant. It spreads by rhizomes. Those purple roots come back up in other places. This stand of mint is kept in check by the shade and other invasive plants. These maple trees come from helicopter seeds, like this. And these trees are growing in a bad spot. This tree is growing in a very bad spot. So is this one. This tree was in a bad location, so I put a bucket over it. And now there's nothing left. The roots are still there. Chop the tree down to the root and place a bucket over it, like that. One of the most invasive plants is grass. It's one of the most invasive plants because it spreads with rhizomes. It self-seeds furiously, and there's vast expanses of it everywhere. Maybe there's some in your yard, too.